And you know that the people in this constituency are yearning out for real leadership. They want a real leadership that will bring jobs to your constituency, that will end the scandal in our hospitals, that will make sure that our young people who have been forced to leave will come back. And we had the same situation four years ago in Donegal. And despite what the media said, despite what the opponents said, we knew we were right. We were so right that they had to stop the count because Sinn Féin had more votes than Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael combined. So, Harja, I'm a very strong believer in every election is winnable. It's winnable if you have the right candidate, and we have that in Kathleen. It's winnable if you have the right team of committed activists that will go out and sell the vision that we have, and we have that in you right here tonight. And it's winnable if we believe that it's winnable. So, Harja, let's go out. Let's give this government the knockout blow. Let's make sure that we send a clear signal to this government that their time is up. Let's make sure that we get Kathleen Function elected as our TD for Carlo Kilkenny. We are really delighted to be here with such a great crowd this evening to launch here in Kilkenny Sinn Féin's by-election campaign, the campaign of our candidate, the strongest candidate in the field, the winning candidate, Kathleen Funch. We are in the business of change. We are in the business of progressive and fair policies. We will build a fair recovery and not a recovery just for the wealthy elites. We will ensure the voices of ordinary working people are represented in the Dáil. We have a dynamic team of Sinn Féin TDs in the Dáil who are not afraid to hold this government to account and to ask the difficult questions. I want to be part of that team. I want to bring the issues in this constituency, your issues, to the floor of the Dáil and I want to ensure the voices of all of the people of Carlow and Kilkenny are represented, not just the voices of those who are well connected and well protected. Everyone here in this room knows what the issues are that face our constituency. They are largely the same issues that are facing all of our people throughout the country. Housing and homelessness are at crisis point here in Kilkenny City. In the Aspect Hotel, not far from here, there are currently over 20 families living in that hotel, all with children who are calling that hotel home. How is that right or fair or just? Unemployment is a massive issue in both our counties. In Carlow, Lappel, Braun, the sugar factory have all closed their doors in the past 10 years and we've had nothing to replace them since. Instead of creating real and sustainable jobs, this government has opted for schemes such as Gateway and Jobbridge. Schemes that are little more than slave labour. Schemes that offer little chance of full-time employment afterwards. By electing me to Leinster House for Carlow and Kilkenny in May, you are electing someone who knows what it is to struggle to make life work. Someone who will be a voice for working people who are struggling with the burden of new taxes that this government has forced on them. Because I will be a voice for ordinary people, people who go out to work in the morning, rushing around trying to get kids out the door, people worrying about the cost of bills, thinking, will I pay the electricity or the gas this week? A voice for mothers who struggle with the cost of childcare, a voice for families that are burdened by high mortgages. I want to be a voice for rural Ireland who are discriminated against because of where they live. It is you that has to be part of creating a brighter future. It is you that will elect a Sinn Féin TD for Carlo and Kilkenny and that will signal the end for this government. It is you that will make history by voting for Sinn Féin. The ability the will and the drive is here in this room tonight. All we have to do now is go out and do it, Gurmagh. Yeah.
talk for a wee moment just about Sinn Féin. Here in Carlow Kilkenny, like many other parts of this state, we've witnessed major and steady growth of our party, of our activists, of our activism, and uh, of our support. In the 2002 general election, for example, we received 3.4% of the vote here. By the general election of 2011, this had risen to 9.5%. In the 2014 local government election, Sinn Féin won 9.9% of the vote in Kilkenny and 12.7% in Carlow. The first time probably ever that Carlow beat Kilkenny at anything. <laughs> But we went in both counties from having no councillors to having three in each county. So why am I telling you that? I'm telling you that in the spirit that Pierce made his remarks. That casting function now has a very real chance of winning a dial seat for you and for Sinn Féin in this by-election.